Hey there, welcome to Point 22. Well, not exactly. This is a pre release experimental build version for the testing purposes that we got access to as a part of a KSP TV live stream event that happened this last weekend. Now, I talked with my higher ups, <laughs> I have higher ups, and I am pretty sure I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to put things out on YouTube with it since, like, Scott Manley and, Dan and Danny did so the other day. If I am not, I am so fired. So, as some of you may remember, the first thing I ever did on YouTube for KSP was a fake sort of career mode thing. I don't have a save game, I need to create a new one. It was my Kerbal Career series, and it was essentially me building rockets and uh, setting myself missions and just adding up how much each rocket would cost based on the end game cost item. Disregarding the fact that I could technically do whatever I wanted. But now, we can do that kind of for real. So let's do... Kerbal Career as our name. Select Career Mode. And start. Now this will be a purely science-based uh, economy. So this is kind of... I suppose it's kind of like the United Federation of Plants in that way. There's no money, it's just... You get p paid based on how much science you can do. So, for those who have not seen this before, this is the new Research and Development Center. So let's pop into there. I can't pop into there. Experimentals! Yay! Oh, apparently I need to be, like, I guess I have to click on the roof or something? I don't know. Okay, so, this is what we have to start with. We have the Command Pod. We have the LVT-30. We have the short SRB. The really short fuel tank. Some sort of strut thingy. An antenna. And a parachute. That is not very much. At all. But it should be enough to get a little bit of science done. Now, you'll note that we don't have a decoupler, so this is going to, be, going to have to be a single stage to wherever we're going. So let's try and get to work on that. And this is what I come up with. Now, believe it or not, but this is a restrained design. I'm told there are ways to use these SRBs as rudimentary decouplers by just, like, just melting whatever they point at. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do this kind of right. And this is going to just be a sounder rocket. Just go straight up, take some readings, come straight back down to Kerbin. I did put an antenna on it, but I hope to return my science in person, which is a much better way of doing things. Although we can't do much science like that because right now we don't have access to solar panels or batteries. And sending data back, that takes a lot of electricity, which is good. It's finally a use for all that electricity. Okay, so let's throttle up and first mission, so we get Jeb, three, two, one, now! Okay, let's throttle down, throttle down the uh, main engine, save that liquid fuel for later. Now we don't have any decouplers, so we're gonna have to lug these empty SRBs all the way up to space. But it shouldn't matter too much, because empty SRBs are, I think, only 0.5 tons. So between the, the four of those, we have two tons of dead weight, which is uh, important, but not too much so. Okay, those burned out, so we can throttle those up. Oh, wait, we are booking. Uh, we are not going for a very efficient burn here, I think. But at this stage of, of technology, we get what we can do, and we go straight up. We go straight up very quickly. And what's our trajectory looking like already? Our trajectory is looking like space. Yeah, huh? That is a space-like trajectory. Okay, and let's cut that off. Oh yeah, go into space. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. This is. A, I just installed this new experimental, so it's giving me this physics warp warning. Go away, physics warp warning. I know what I'm doing. Dang it all. We in space yet? No. Come on, get to space. I want to do some science. Oh, idea. Let's take some information from the high atmosphere. And crew report. We record the crew's assessment of the situation. That's worth 3.5 sciences. Let's radio that back in, since we're going to get some better science now that we are in space. Now, let's try and get that better science. Okay, you'll note that that took off more than half of my electric charge. So, this is going to be the one we keep, hopefully. Okay, crew report. 
it seems we are very much in space now. The sky seems to mostly be below us. That is worth five sciences. It's very wise words, Jebediah. Five sciences worth of wisdom right there. Now, let's... I know we can't make orbit with this, but let's just pretend like we can and burn from Apoapsis, going straight on horizontals. And there's the end of it. At least that should give us a bit of a gentle insert into the atmosphere. A bit more gentle, a bit more uh, low angle of entry sort of thing. Let's dip, open the parachute, which won't open since we're in space, but you know, why not? Oh, throttled up. Kill the throttle and time warp into the atmosphere. And continue time warping because we have a long way to fall. We're going so slow relative to normally. Wow, my phone beeping text tone is very impressive. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. All our mass is in the front. So we are going in nose first. Is this a rocket or a missile? Oh, no. Um, maybe I should have just done some research on the tarmac instead of trying to go to space on my first launch. It is possible to do that, by the way, right now. You can just launch a uh, basic command pod with no rocket underneath it, have Jebediah stick his head out the window and say, yep, it's sunny out, and that is worth enough science to get you the next stage of tech. The next stage of tech has, I believe, one sci science experiment that greatly magnifies your uh, basic abilities. You can run that experiment in all sorts of scenarios, and you can get even more science than just having a curb not look out the window. I just remembered we can also do things by having Jebediah get out and do an EVA report, which would have been very, very handy, but we did not do. So, yeah, that would have been more, worth more science. Maybe we can do that when we land. Maybe he can get out and take a swim and tell us how the water is. Okay, now uh, let's try and accelerate time a bit here. Since we're coming in over the ocean, we can know precisely when to stop. I don't know if parachutes falling off at, at physics warp when you when they fully deploy, is if, if that's still a thing or not, but I am not going to find out. I'm just going to keep on doing my little rituals, and hopefully they will keep me alive. Okay, 100 meters. Jebediah Kerman, first Kerbal in space. Landing in three, two, one, now. And his rocket just sort of went away. Huh. Well, let's pretend that was intentional. Go back to the Space Center. And I believe this is a new building in the middle of the tracking station. Can you focus on that? Uh, yes, we can. I'm not sure, but I think this is a new building. Let's go inside it. Ah, so here we see the Sounder 1 is splashed down just east of Curl Space Center. Now we can recover that. Yes, we do want to recover that. And we get 5 science from the crew report and 8 science from examining the recovered capsule. Seeing it's been in space and it's gone through a re-entry and all that fancy stuff. So that gets us 13 science, brings us up to 16 science when we add in the science that we reported in from space. And I forgot to have Jeb do the uh, EVA report. But no matter, we now have 16 science. Our first tech here, basic rocketry. How hard can rocket science be anyways? This will get us a double-sized tank, a half-sized tank, a mystery goo containment unit, that is science, and holy of holies the decoupler. Let's get this business. Okay, now we see where we get some branching going on. So now we have available for us basic rocketry. No, that's general rocketry. That one's basic. But yeah, general rocketry. That gets us the LVT-45, what with the thrust gambling, the, se the Sepatrons, which are fancy, and the taller SRPs, which can be good for getting things to space very quickly. Uh, stability. This is sort of a... You're mainly getting this, I think, only for this radial decoupler. You won't want a either the winglet or the nose cone at this point in your tech. Oh, so, parachutes. 
Survivability, the art of landing and walking away from it. This gives us the tiny engine, the landing legs, and the radial parachute, which I'm going to want to get, I think, because I am very nervous about landing things and having the experiments blowing up, because you want to return the entire experiment package, which can get a lot bigger than just a single capsule, so you have to land a much larger payload than you're used to. But we can't research any of that right now. We're going to have to do that next time. I will see you there. Hopefully this will become a series. Bye.